Hi, I'm Aidan from Hackwood Electrical and today we're going to talk to you about PIV units. So this is a PIV unit. PIV stands for Positive Input Ventilation and essentially what this is doing is it's bringing air through the outside, through the loft, filtering through these filters, passing it through and there's a little tiny heat exchanger on there and then it's pushing fresh air, filtered air, through into the property. The three main benefits for a unit like this would be low running costs, better air quality, and reduces condensation throughout the entire property. So the reason we've gone for a PIV unit in this instance, rather than a traditional extractor fan, was the, the bathroom is already tiled and finished, and due to the unique way that this house is made, there are no gable ends for us to take an inline fan ducting through. And there's no fascias and soffits for us to exhaust it through. So it was a little bit stuck with what to install. So we suggested this PIV unit. Now there are some cons to having a PIV unit. And the first one really is the initial cost. Now, this unit with the heater cost us between 350 to 450 pounds. So that's a fairly big outlay to begin with. But in the long run, it's going to pay off rather than having no extract fan at all. And the other down, another downside for these units is that it's not suitable for every type of property. So if you've got a apartment or a flat with no roof space, there's nowhere to install these. If you have a loft which is fairly inaccessible, it's probably not ideal. And if you've got a very large property, uh, you might need multiple. And another downside really is the amount of space it takes up. So on the landing, we've got, so on the landing, you can see that we've got this outlet plate, well, inlet plate, should I say. And it is quite a big size. Now this measures, so this inlet plate measures roughly around 300 mil. And you also need to have a minimum space of around one meter from any smoke detectors. But luckily, if that is impossible, it does come with little blanking plates that you face towards your smoke detectors. And then it shuts off any air that might disrupt the smoke detectors. The power requirements for these are quite small, so you are able to come off the lighting circuit. In this instance, we've put a few switch fuse spur in and put a three amp fuse in, clipped the cable along, and we've hung it from the suspension kit that you get. There are also anti vibration feet that you can install, but again, that depends on the loft space that you've got, as that they do take up a fair bit more space. So we have opted for the hook and string method, which also reduces vibrations through the joists. But as you can tell, it's really, really quiet. So that's another benefit. The other benefit is also that it's extremely quiet. I mean, I'm right next to this now and I can't hear anything. So if you have a property that's struggling with damp and condensation, maybe a PIV unit is for you. If you need a quote for installation, feel free to get in touch and we'll be happy to help.